two dots, $25. Hey guys, it's me, Christina Marie. I am trying out the world's most expensive lip plumper. I'm a little intimidated because this bad boy costs $200. Yeah, you heard me right, $200. <laughs> Anyways, I thought I would try it out. I'm kind of like, I'm intimidated because I'm like $200. I'm gonna put $200 on my lips. And it's probably going to feel like outrageously hot or tingly. <laughs> I don't know. So I thought I would turn on the camera and try it out with you guys. Okay, so this is called uh, QMS. It says Medi Cosmetics. It is a lip line correction, lip serum. Let me read what it says. Lightweight serum formulated to hydrate and plump the lips for a smoother, useful appearance. Skin type, all. Okay, so let's go ahead and try it out. What you do is you twist it up. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so nervous. Probably because this is the most expensive product I have ever tried out. <laughs> okay, so you twist it, you lock it. I'm going to pump it. There you go. Two dots. $25. <laughs> I have nothing on my lips. No, nothing. So let's go ahead and try it. I'm gonna just work it in and massage it. Maybe I actually just needed one. Maybe I didn't have to spend $25 right here pumping out $25 and I could have just spent like 12. But you know what guys? Like, look when I smile. Like my top lip is so much smaller than my bottom. Can you see? Ooh. It doesn't burn, but I can feel something going on. I'm gonna apply more and just work it in. Anyways, this one is so always so much smaller because look, this one like comes all the way down to here. And that one is just short. It's always been like that. People have tried to convince me to go get uh, lip injections and I'm like, no, nah. I'll just overdraw my lips. But if something like this actually works, it better freaking work for that price tag. Um, if something like this actually works, I could just plump my lips when I wanted to plump them. And maybe I should have just plumped on my top lip instead of my bottom lip for this video. But I'm doing both to see how big my lips will go. So when you put on a few co oh look, it totally absorbs. Oh, let me take a picture. I took a few pictures there. So we can compare. I don't really feel anything yet. But it completely absorbs into the skin. So I'm going to keep applying until it stops absorbing. And you guys don't know, that's a key trick to like, especially like any skin problems, if you have problems under your eyes, for example, like you put a lotion on and you work it in like this, right? Completely absorbs, then you put more on. Completely absorbs, then you put more on until it becomes like a little bit like this. Oh yeah, so okay. So you can see that this one's not completely absorbed. That's when you put your foundation on. So I'm gonna actually apply, this one's absorbing more. I'm actually going, probably because it's bigger. I'm going to keep applying until it stops absorbing. It's going to be hilarious if I look like I have like huge lips. Like, see, look, I still haven't gotten to the second ball yet. Okay. As I'm working it, you do start to feel almost like a numbness to the lips but it's it's work it's working it's doing something okay this is actually in certain portions of it it dried down so we're gonna work it again work some more i'm gonna start going on two ball two it's so weird because it's not irritating how 90 percent of other lip plumping serums feel or lip plumping lip glosses or lipsticks feel normally they they have this like cayenne pepper feel to them 
and like they start uh like burning and this one like I don't really feel anything it almost feels like maybe like a little bit of a numbing sensation kind of like when you go to the doctor do you see a difference I think it's been like two minutes and it's, it feels like the serum is drying on my lips. So feels like anything you would put on your lips when it starts to dry down, but underneath, like in here, more so in here for me on my top lip and in here, it started to get like like num like a numbing effect but not burning at all so i'll see you guys in like 5 minutes okay guys it has been a full 18 minutes do you see a difference i think my top look lip looks much bigger the reason i say that is not just it's not just my like my opinion I'm going to show you how I compare whether my lips have grown or things have changed. So I went on this app, right? And I took the very first picture that I took when I said I was going to take a picture. And then I took the picture afterwards. And I put them right on top of each other as best as I can. And if I see that one, one picture is more opaque than the other, so they kind of like... One's a little bit, you can see through it. So I can see the outline of my lips and compare it to when I didn't have the product on to the outline of my lips. So it's comparing lips to lips. I'm going to show you guys. It might get you guys a little like, oh, dizzy because it it, it is like, like focusing on just the lip area and the in and out and the in and out. Now, if it doesn't get you dizzy, just focus on what I'm trying to show you in this clip. And how like this portion right here is, and this one right here, like the peaks of my lips are so much more higher than they were before. And maybe you're looking at it on camera and you're like, that's not a huge difference. But in person, I think it's a big difference. I mean, when I smile, look at that. Like my, my top lip is not hiding like it was. How do my lips feel? They don't feel really any different. They had just a slight tingling of numbing, a slight. They feel fine. And the fact that my top lip, remember I have no products on my skin besides that on my lips. What did you think? Does it last all day? How long does it last? I don't know. So I'm going to take you guys around with me today and see, hey, does it last a long time or not? Do my lips shrink down? I'm actually going to put another coat of the serum before I leave in about five minutes <laughs> on my lips just to kind of like give them the best chance of staying plump throughout the day. But yeah. I'm also going to put lipstick on, obviously, because I can't walk around with no lipstick on. You know what, guys? Applying it for the second time. Like, I noticed that if I do this, I have it on my finger. I'm really kind of like roughing it up more. I feel like you can feel more of that numbingness. Like, I think, don't quote me, but I think that it actually is going to work better if I do that, because I almost feel like I'm working it super hard into the skin. Now, to be fair, I did not overdraw my lips, not one bit. I normally overdraw them a tad bit, so my top lip is even with my bottom. But my top lip, now that you can see the lines emphasized, looks to be around the same size as my bottom lip. And if that's true, which I think it's very true, that means my bottom lip didn't get much bigger than it was. Or if it did, I feel like it got fuller right here, right there. So I feel like maybe it got bigger in the inside right there. And the parts of my top lip that needed to get fuller 
obviously were, they needed to get fuller up here in the center and it pushed it out to be nearly as big as my bottom lip. Wow. Okay guys, what I will say is, well, first off, I put a lipstick that's like a solid color so we can do better comparison. My lips look great, but <laughs> this is a weird thing because I'm drinking my green juice, right? And I'm, you know, you put your lips on the straw, right? And then you put your lips to drink again in a different part of the straw, a different place of the straw. So I almost feel like maybe the product got on my tongue a little bit because in the middle of my tongue, <laughs> I feel numb, <laughs> a little numb. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. It's just kind of weird. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't burn. It does nothing. But like now it's on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> kind of weird. Right, so I'm at the grocery store because Karen called me and she was like, there's a great deal on candles. <laughs> and they were clearanced out here at Smith. So I'm at Smith and she sees me all the time. So she knows the size of my lips. She doesn't really want to be on camera, but I'm forcing her to be on camera because she, she is currently sick. So she's like, I look like she bad <laughs> so she's gonna be wearing her sunglasses obviously in the middle of the grocery store but this is what she said when i pulled up and i asked her what do you think about my lips the the only thing that i noticed is her uh, pointy part of her lip was a little bit higher than normal um i honestly thought it was just her you putting on the lip liner and all that she thought i overdrew my lips yeah, today. Over, over you know over yeah so i thought it, it's it's much higher that's that's just what I noticed. So it did work, especially yeah. on my top lip, if she's noticing that, because normally I overdraw and yeah. she thought that I overdrew. So she's saying that it's probably got bigger right here because this is much taller than it normally is. Guys, one thing I will notice, it looks like my lips are a little off, off sided. Like look, this one looks like it comes out more right here. Like this one just looks like it's further out than the other. Okay guys, so this is nearly four hours later. And like I was mentioning about, I don't know, 45 minutes ago, how my lips, I think they're starting to go down. Look, I mean, my top lip still looks amazing, right? But like, you see how these match up this line with this line, right? Because that's how I line my lips. You know, they obviously naturally match up. But like, you see this line? Let me see this line over here. Like, they're totally that and that are not matching up. I know you guys can see what I'm talking about. So I almost feel like my top lip still looks great, but I feel like my bottom lip might be shrinking and maybe uh, it shrunk here to the regular size and here it's still like a little bit more swollen, I guess you could say. Four hours later, my top lip still looks great though. Guys, so I've been wearing this for five hours and I think if we just look at my lips, you're gonna notice that my top lip is much smaller now than my bottom lip. Hmm? When before this was higher and more full, but yeah, I would say it stopped working. So it lasts for about five hours. So my question to you, is it worth the $200? This has literally 15 milliliters, which is half an ounce. You figure if you use a pea size amount, then it's gonna last you anywhere from tw about 20 days, maybe 20, 30 days, if you used it every day, maybe longer. You guys are gonna have to figure out the math on that. So let's be real. Did it make a difference? Yes. Did I have any burning? No. Was it super uncomfortable? No. Um, did it make a difference? Yeah. So if I was real bougie and I could afford $200, I would probably buy it. God, I'm straight. I asked Karen that. Karen's always like, Karen's a huge couponer. And so like, she's real, uh, not, she's very cautious with how she spends her money. And I asked her the same thing. Would you buy it? And she said the same thing. If I had the money to spend and I didn't want to get fillers, I would buy it. But she doesn't have the money, so she can't afford it. So an alternative would be the Too Faced Lip Injections. This is in the color Glossy. Um, this is clear. It just has a hint of gold. 
it's more of a nude. Um, but the down, the downside of doing these glosses is that, yeah, it plumps your lips probably for relatively around the same time. I'm actually going to show you guys the full review of this one pretty soon. Um, but you get that super intense cayenne pepper feel. Like it feels like I just shoved my lips like in a chili, a raw chili like that. And then you're like, oh, but your lips are getting bigger. So that is the downfall of using these type of glosses. I think this one's like $18. Don't quote me. I'll try to find out how much it is. I will post links to both of these if I can. But like I said, it's huge, huge, huge price difference. But if you can't afford it, it does work. It does work. It made my lips look really pretty today. But obviously, it's not a 24-hour thing. Because look, when I smile, you see how tiny my lip went? See my top lip, it just like, it disappeared. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so I actually will give a thumbs up to this. I would recommend not putting as much as I put on my lips because I did kind of notice that uh, I le I did a little bit too much and it left like this residue. And this one, obviously it's temporary. It's pika. Pika means spicy. <laughs> but this one burns. This one does not. But this one, don't ever touch your lips with your tongue because your tongue's going to go numb. Overall, I liked it very anyways much. i hope you guys enjoyed this review if you did please hit that thumbs up button little subscribe button and the tiny little bell next to it for notifications of new videos i'm christina marie i'm out